transmit. It's blamed for causing damage to local green spaces. Today, young people and locals have gathered on a field next to Australian Woods to protest. Ooh, cool. We contacted the organiser for comment and they sent us this press release. We have to take our local environment seriously and understand our place in a global future. We are forming a nature recovery network because we have to take our local environment seriously and understand our place in a global future. Do it before it's too late. And trust me, save your future. Save your world. And the entire tattoo. We are here live at the site of Straining Woods, known for proposed for housing development where young teenagers are causing the commotion. Can you please tell us why? Uh, well, people are striking uh, because of the environment and everything. What's happening around here? Well, climate change and people littering and we get blamed for it. And who is to blame? I don't think it's the old people really. They, they have more of a factor in everything. Uh, why are you so passionate about the subject? Well, I, I like to come outside to relax. It's, it's the outdoors. Everybody just be eco-friendly. We're protesting to raise awareness to save the environment. Act now before it's too late. Well, I've seen a lot of birds with litter around their necks getting choked. It's bad. OK, what could we do to make it stop? Well, everybody, it's really simple. We should just take the litter home with them, wherever they are. A lot of rubbish gets stuck around here. Who think does it? Well, I think young people are the main culprits. I'm protesting because there is no planet B. There is no planet B. Definitely no planet B. Don't go looking for it. Bloody hippies! Um, excuse me, can, can you give me your name? Mrs Patricia Cardigan to you. And I'll be glad when all these trees are gone. They're right in my eye line when I'm on my patio. And this lot, they want to watch it. Um, young man, um, can you, uh, 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 um, uh, back to the um, studio, I guess. Breaking news, our child has gone missing after the hearing process. Molly is 10 years old, well known on social media. Such as Miss Mash, last seen wearing a hoodie, sushi in the hair and on her arms after lots of sushi. Police have no leads where the school has gone, but they believe she disappeared when the family come to the protest. It was much better. Anyone know anything? Please call 200 200 200. Leave any information anonymously. Have you got any news? I'm worried out of my mind. We've just come to an update, yeah, but we haven't got any confirmed information. What does that mean? We'd just like to get a few more details about your daughter's disappearance. Is that okay? That's okay. So when did you find out that Molly went missing? When Molly came home. Did she tell you where she was going? All I know is what he said. They went off to a friend's house. Well, I thought they did. Well, Molly's gone off to this protest. I've told you everything. Okay, let's get a let's get a witness statement from Molly. Was you at the illegal gathering? I wasn't at the protest. I was with a friend. Where? In Whitfield. What were you doing? Watching Netflix. Oh, uh, oh really? What? I'm sure we were watching. When was the last time you saw Molly? Like. 10 a.m. this morning. Okay, where was that? At home. And where were you? At yoga. Oh, which uh, yoga place are you going? Got pure vibes in town. Uh, very, way. very helpful, thank you. Do you normally know drop your daughters off? No, they usually walk. When did you notice that uh, Molly wasn't there? I was going to my friend's house and actually she was like, I'm actually I'm going home. And I was like, okay, that's fine. And then I saw the photo of Molly at the protest. Okay, you saw a photo. Where did you see that photo? Mishmash. So you're concerned about your daughter? Of course I am! You're asking stupid questions. Can you just get on with it? Uh, do you know who she hangs out with? Any friends or family? Or is she involved in any uh, gas? Gas! She's ten for goodness sake! We have to ask these questions. Young children can get involved in gang, you know. Um, don't you think that your, well, your husband kidnapped... Why would he kidnap his own daughter? We have to follow every possibility. He's away a lot. He can see her whenever he wants. Can we just get on with this interview, please? I think this is all a waste of time. I just want my daughter found. We're doing everything we possibly can. It's understandable that you're getting upset. Uh, we do understand that. We're doing all we can. 
Hi, I'm Juicy, and you are? Mike Rhodes. Okay then, Mike. Um, can you tell us a bit about what happened earlier? I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. Um, you were you were there, weren't you? Yeah. What were you doing? Why were you at the? Why why didn't you act? I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, did you know? Did you not know what you were going to do? No. Okay then. Um, okay, so. What made what made you come down here then? Everyone else was there, so I thought it might be fun. Okay, so do you know these people or Yeah, a few of them. Well, did you know? No. Okay. Hang on. Shouldn't you have asked about the missing girl? Well I guess that's everything I guess. Uh, back to the studio. For the benefit of the recording, the time is five minutes past six on Friday the sixteenth of May. Please state your name for the benefit of the tape. PC Guy Guilty. Peter Ian Staker. That's Jack Cady for the tape. Jane Parker, Social Services. So, Jack, where were you earlier today? It's in the woods on a protest. Okay, and uh, were, were you with oh, Sam? Who the hell's Sam? Sam Rivers. Do you know what name? Oh, he was the one that organised the protest, wasn't he? So you were with Sam, were you? Didn't see Sam around. Okay, well, uh, a girl's gone missing and there's been reports of antisocial behaviour and you've got a bit of previous of that, haven't you, Jack? Have you? You tell me, it's your job. So, we have a, we've got an history of ASB and the thing I've got on my records is that you're not allowed around Fairbridge anymore, are you, Jack? No comment. Um, is Jack under caution? Do you know Molly Thompson? No. She's a girl who's gone missing. Have you not seen the news reports? No. Right, because we've got intel that you were actually the last person to speak with her before she went missing. Who saw me a blind man? Don't get smart with me, Jack. You, you're in a lot of trouble as it is. I think we're going to have to pause the, this interview unless you're actually accusing Jack of anything. You say this so people admit everything. But I can't admit something I haven't done. Right, we'll move on. So, you're admitting you were at the protest? Yeah. So tell me your version then. Okay, I was in the woods protesting with all the other young people who were on strike. Yeah, we've got you banged to us. Just make it easy on us and yourself. Just don't play the game where you're just going to repeat that it wasn't me. Just admit it, I get a coffee, and we all go home. Right, that's enough. You're just saying that if I lie, it'll be easy for you, so you can just get a quick result. Just, just blame it on the teenager. Blame it on the stereotype. All the intel, all the evidence. You've got an history of antisocial behaviour. Yeah, your charge sheet reads like the Old Testament. What? Inaccurate. Right. So what happened? You joined the protest. You've got no interest in the protest. I mean. What's your interest in that protest? I think it's right to save the environment. Were you thinking that when you were setting fire to the bins on Fairbridge? Um, hi, I'm Juicy, and you are? Mike, Hannick. OK, Mike, uh, what are you doing here? Oh, I'm trying to raise awareness, get as many people here to protect the environment as possible, um, reaching out to people online, that kind of thing. OK, um, do you know who Sam Rivers is? Uh, well, um, you could say that. Um, great guy. Um, he's organised this whole thing. So he cares a lot about the environment, yeah. You're not from around here, are you? Uh, not exactly. Uh, you could say I'm quite boring. Okay. Uh, is, Sam, is Sam Rivers from many parts? Um, no, you could say he's very foreign as well. Um, Okay. Listen, um, I've got to go. Uh, great catch up with you. Okay, let's move swiftly on. Um, what do you think of all this? Alright, let's see what we can do here. Do you realise the significance of this event? No. This is about the environment. This isn't some hippie rally from the 60s, and trust me, I should know. It's about your future. Is this, is any of this going through? I've seen the knock-on effects of what's going to happen in the future. It's awful. A horrid, 
hellish landscape, devoid of life. Right. No humans, no animals, nothing. This isn't just some social media clap. I'm not a crazy just talking absolute nonsense. This is proper... Hold on. Um... Are you recording this? Um, well, uh, is it... Uh, uh. Leave it. Leave it. Oh, this wasn't live streaming. We have called this news conference today as a peel out for the missing girl, Molly. If you've seen her, please let us know, because we're missing her like mad. It's left our family very distraught. Molly, if you're out there and you've seen us, please come home. I miss you. Please come home. We're begging you, please. Molly was last seen on Friday, the day of the protest. It's thought that she was involved. She's wearing leggings, a mishmash hoodie, and her hair is up in a pink scrunchie. These may be key pointers to find her, and she's always carrying Archie the Axolotl. It's a squishy. She's also big with social media, such as Instagram, Snapchat, and especially Mishmash. If you had any contact from her, seen a post, no matter how big or small, it would be helpful. Thank you for listening. Please help me find my sister. Can we hurry this up, please? This is ridiculous. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm just going to put this, this recorder on here. Uh, the time is 20... The time is 20 past uh, 10, Saturday the 17th of May. Uh, DCI Jones interviewing... Can you please say your name for the benefit of the recording, please? Mike Rhodes. And... Alice Christie. And you're in here in what capacity? I'm his mother. Okay, okay. Okay, so Mike, where was you? Can you tell us where you was yesterday afternoon, please? With the protesters, like everyone else. Do you know Sam? I've heard of them, but I don't know who they are. Sam Rivers? Yeah, I've heard of them. Yeah, you're his friend on Facebook, aren't you? Am I? Yeah, you are. Didn't know that. Well, Sam set up this event. Did you know that? Oh, yeah. Um, you said you know him, didn't you? I've heard the name. I've heard people talk about him. So you had random people you don't even know on Facebook? Yeah, this guy, Sam Rivers, added me, and then as soon as I added him back, he sent me a message about a protest, and I thought it might be fun to go. Anything you can remember will be helpful, because Sam was the last person to message Molly before she went missing, uh, and yet no one's ever, ever met Sam. He'd been previously involved. I didn't do that, I didn't let her. Well, who was it then? I don't know, I just got blamed. You just get blamed? Yeah, I just get blamed. What about the farmer? He was there at the protest and he start, he threatened to spread muck on us if we didn't leave the protest. And we didn't leave, so he threw muck on us and he started swearing too. Um. okay, okay. Well, that's very professional, isn't it? Uh, hi, um, I'm, welcome to the show. I'm Dave Juicy and uh, this is a... Uh, Miss Lizzie Becking? It's Buxton. Yeah, whatever. She's a park ranger, climate change person, talk, here to talk about some nature stuff. Um, I work for the local wildlife trust. Oh, really? Well, anyway, our top priority at the moment is to restore nature as much as possible. Oh, really? Oh, yes, by restoring key natural habitats, such as woodland, peatland, salt marsh and fen. We can lock in vast amount of carbon to prevent natural disasters such as floods, as well as providing clean water and um, improved health. We've also been doing our best to map um, local rainforests in the area. Rainforests, aren't they in the Amazon? That's what everybody thinks, but our oceanic climate creates the perfect conditions for um, different types of mosses and lichens. I hate it. Dark, damp. The grey squirrel population has had a detrimental effect on the woodland area, as well as the erosion of soils. That's where they've met British, Patricia Garvitz again. She's very keen in the local environment. Yes, by cutting down every single tree in the area. Well, who needs trees? Perhaps a change of subject. How about the protest? Oh, it's been wonderful. They all came along to push for the creation of a national nature recovery network in order to restore 
numerous ecosystems. We're a brand, a brand new generation of tree huggers. Did you all bring the vegan sausage rolls? Oh, it all went so well until that blasted farmer showed up. Oh, farmer Jairus. Yes, Marcus Wright. He said that the teenagers had no business with being on his land, so he sprayed them all with muck. What an animal. Yeah, brilliant. No, it isn't. It spread some interesting conversation. It spread. Pathetic. Anyway, that's all we've got time for today. Um, back to the studio. Come on, Marcus, you must have seen something. Oh, God, I don't know what you're talking about. She was seen in the back of your trailer. Well, that's the first time I've heard of it. You were seen at the protest, weren't you? Yes, I've already told you. Yes. And you drove your tractor and covered all the protesters in slurry, is that correct? <sighs> yes. Why did you cover the protesters in slurry? It was disgusting, and it took me days to get rid of that stench. It must have been that farmer. Maybe he wasn't happy with us using his land. I wonder if that Patricia Cardigan put him up to all this. Patricia Cardigan? Don't forget my cup of tea, two sugars please, and my cushion. Oh, there's one here, I'll have that. So Patricia, what was you doing at the protest? What protest? The protest at Australian Woods. What is the world coming to? I wasn't at a protest. Do you remember walking through a field full of people yesterday? Oh, is that what it was? I thought it was travellers. <laughs> so why were you at Australian Woods yesterday? I was walking my dog, Wilson. OK, did you notice anything unusual? What? Other than a field full of smelly hippies? No. Did you not notice a little girl? Oh, no, no. A little girl? But those people, her parents should be reported to social services. Did you see the farmer? Who? A farmer. The farmer. Maybe. Can you cast your mind back and try and rem remember? Did you see anything? Well, I could try. I think I saw him by the barn. And what about Molly? Did you see Molly? I don't know who Molly is. Have you got kids? Why is this relevant? How would you feel if one of your children went missing? I'd be devastated. I can't even begin to comprehend how a family must be feeling. Do you know Sam Rivers? Who's this Sam Rivers guy I keep on hearing about? Do you know where Molly is? I've told you this, I don't know. Do your kids ever play hide and seek? What on earth were you thinking? We were worried. We thought you were just a crazy farmer. Oh, chill, I got everyone's attention, didn't I? Was it worth it though? I think so. So, why? Do you remember that guy on Instagram, Sam Rivers? Wasn't he a bit weird? He's right though. The world is going to end and nobody even mentions it. Everyone's like buying a new phone or look at my makeup. None of that stuff matters. 
We're going to die anyway. The process wasn't even on the news. So how does hiding in a barn save the world? Because everyone's talking about it. Thank you.